Hey guys, how are you going? Just a quick video today on the JavaScript match media function. So essentially, this function right here allows you to match media queries, okay? And essentially, that allows you to do quite a few things. In particular, um, you can use it to detect a screen size. For example, if you want to know if a device or the user's device is a mobile phone or something small, you can do it using this function. Um, you can also uh, use it to detect um, the operating system dark or light mode, which I covered briefly in a previous video. But anyway, let's go inside the text editor right here and explore this function. So the way you use this function is quite straightforward. Um, let's go down here in, uh, in the JavaScript and uh, let's create a new constant. And essentially, this constant is going to hold um, the return value of the match media function. Okay, so let's say right here, const match results is equal to window.matchmedia. And we're going to be passing through here a string. So for example, let's do something like this. Let's say max uh, dash width and then 767 pixels. So... Um, right here, uh, you may have seen something like this before uh, using CSS. Essentially, if this um, uh, if this media query matches, okay, then we know that the screen width um, is essentially um, you know uh, less than 767 pixels. So if that's the case, we know that it's a smaller device, most likely a mobile phone. Okay, so now I'm going to simply console.log. Uh, the match media results, sorry, uh, the match results uh, constant, okay? I'm going to save this here and refresh the browser. In the console, we can see we get an object which looks like this, okay? And you can see here we have a property called matches and it's equal to true, okay? So obviously here, my max width is, uh, you know, uh, less than uh, six, seven, uh, sorry, seven, six, seven. So I've now expanded it a bit further to something like this. And now hopefully if I refresh, um, well, we still get true. Uh, let me just try and resize this a bit smaller and then try again. And now we get false. So as we can see there, um, obviously it's going to change depending on if your query matches. So obviously on a mobile phone, you're most likely going to get true right here. So with that being said, let's just quickly go inside uh, the text editor and let's just make a new function to detect if something is a small screen size. So we can say function right here is small screen and essentially this function is going to return true or false depending on if it's a small screen. So we can say if window.matchmedia is going to be passing through the exact same thing right here. Okay. Then we're going to say immediately dot matches. Okay. If that's the case, we're going to return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. Now, you could also simplify this function to simply return um, the value of this right here. And it's probably better to do it that way, to be honest. So I might just copy this right here and just replace it with return and then something like that. So now, obviously, it's going to return true or false and you can use the function just like that. Now, I do want to demonstrate right here that it is going to be live and dynamic. So if I was to refresh this and then if I was to call that is small screen function, we can see we get true currently. If I was to resize this window, make it really small and try again, we now get false. So it is going to work. It's going to change as the user obviously uses the web page. If they make their screen bigger, um, this value is going to change. So the last thing I want to demonstrate here um, is how to detect an operating system dark or light mode. So for this, it works in a very similar way. Let's go back inside here. We need to simply change uh, the string inside here. So for this, to detect a OS dark or light mode, uh, we can simply put inside here, uh, prefers, prefers color dash scheme, and then we can just say dark right there. And if this matches, then the user OS is in dark mode. Okay, so I might just remove this right here, and then console.log, our match result, uh, dot matches okay then save this and refresh and we get false my computer my windows machine is not in dark mode if i was to go inside my settings here and change this app mode to be dark 
and then try refresh the page now we get true so that is how to use the javascript match media function thanks for watching guys and i'll see you later